In this video, I'm gonna be teaching you how to build the best spike wall in the game. And it's pretty simple. All right, so what you wanna do is you're gonna pick up these rocks and place down where you want your first wall to be. I'm gonna place mine right here. I'm gonna grab two more of these stones. And then you're gonna grab two quarter logs, which you get from just chopping a tree when it's fallen. And you're gonna grab the rest of your stones and just throw it on top like this now this is not it because if you leave your walls like this they're going to be able just to jump over what you're going to do is you're going to put spikes on top of it by using sticks what you're going to do is you're going to place a stick behind it and then next to that stick without the snap point but close to it about in the middle like right here you're going to place another stick and then when you go to the side you'll see the snap point for the first stick lock onto the wall you'll place the stick on top and now with the second stick kelvin if you knock this over man <laughs> with the second stick if i can get it you'll see that's also on the wall so just like that now you have sticks on the wall so you're gonna get rid of these two bottom sticks and then you're just gonna recycle them on top of the wall now so you'll see you should get a snap point from the first stick See, I'm getting a snap point over here. It's on the other side of the wall for some reason, but we can fix it after, as long as we get the stick up there. And then the snap point from the stick back there. There you go. Now you have sticks on the wall that you can knock over. To reinforce those sticks, you're gonna use these small rocks. So I ran out of the rocks. The rest of them are inside my base. I don't feel like searching around for them, but once you do reinforce them like this, you're just gonna knock them down with an ax. Just like this. And then once the wall is like this, the enemies will just end up walking to the spikes on this side. So now to make it better, what you do is you actually place sticks behind it too. You can place sticks really close to it. Now again, you're gonna use the snap points of these two sticks grab let me grab some more sticks real quick all right i've gathered more sticks let me run back over here so what you're gonna do is you're gonna use the snap points again off the original stick that you placed get it as close to the wall as you can so let's do another one right here you should get another snap point that's really close use these two and again, you're just going to use the snap points for the sticks that are really close to start lining the rest of them up. And then with these sticks, you do the same thing. You reinforce them with the small rocks, and then you run the, and then you uh, knock them over with an axe. It's really simple to build these walls. It's a little bit time-consuming, but it's very, very worth it for defending your base. As you can see, I have it completely surrounding my base, so they work so damn well. Since my base is already fully covered with these walls, I figured that I'd give a demonstration of what an attack actually looks like. How'd the squirrel get into my house? This is actually footage from before I made my last video. This was the first attack that they did on my house. And as you can see, the spike wall held up pretty much flawlessly. There was a few points where they were able to hit the wall and kind of like shoulder bump it. But other than that, they were pretty much avoiding it after they got stabbed or limping away like you see with that guy everything went really well the only problem that i had is that one guy got smart and hopped into a tree which you just saw and he's gonna jump over that wall on my roof so i still need to chop down that tree but other than that the walls work flawlessly